come here, right, come here. I need to change this again because I'm constantly switching between these upright pens that go like this and then using a fountain pen that has to go like this. And each time I have to use this tool to unscrew this whole thing, adjust it and then screw it back on again. Why? I keep asking myself somewhat dramatically because I'm like that. Can't I just turn it instead of all this taking it off and then putting it back on again, taking it off and putting it back on again, while completely ignoring the fact that evil man scientists have such a thing and have done for the past few years. So I ordered one, I got mine from Robot Shop, not sponsored, and this will hopefully solve all those problems. Well, let's go open it. And that's all of that. So you get the actual adjuster, there we have the things I'm going to use to stick it on, and then a set of instructions that even I can follow. Even I can follow. Let's go stick it onto the machine. Alrighty, here we go. I've got my instructions that I'm going to read. Right, step one, remove this. So normal. I'm going to put a small one on. That's the one I'm going to be using. Right, what's it saying now? Mount this. So I matching the picture. It says mount it like that. Okay, that seems pretty easy to do. Right, first one loosely in. This gets mounted. These angled ones here and here are the ones that we want to attach, I think. So, how does it suggest we do that? Right, so we have these itty bitty little screws. We're going to stick the washer on. Okay, so screw and washer. There we go. And then going to use that on angled one. Titan that fix it in place. And we just stick a pen in here, like a pretend pen. Right, so if I loosen these two red bits, I loosen this red bit and this red bit here. So I've loosened these two. I can now, oh, drawing on my table, good. Tighten it up again. Let's just do that. Tighten it up. Alrighty. Vertical. If we loosen it and loosen it, I can go horizontal. Not that that's particularly useful for me. And then the old classic, around 45 degrees. Now, most of the time, I won't need to be too precise about this, but for some pens, I'm sure it'll make a difference. There we go. That is all done go me. Right, well I guess I just have to keep using it to find out whether I like it or not. That was simple. There is more to it of course than me just being lazy. Let me um, show you. If you're using a chisel tip pen like, hold on, this thing over here. Let's go back around here. Oh, that's bright. There we go. This chisel tip here, then obviously you need to have it at an angle, and not all chisel tips are the same, so it allows you to sort all that out. 
There is more to it than that. There's also an italic adapter that allows you to tilt the whole thing sideways. Um, I believe that mine, let me just grab this, is in this box called that drawer of stuff that I haven't been brave enough to sort out yet. Luckily, future me will help me. Okay, so it's future me here, and it turns out I didn't manage to find the italic adapter. I did order one. This is the one that I've ordered from Robot Shop, but because I wanted to save on shipping and because I want to test anyway, I also ordered the magnetic easel, but it's been out of stock for a while. So the new stock came in, they've shipped it, but it hasn't arrived yet, and I think it's gone out of stock again. So I guess I'll make a quick video about that magnetic board when it arrives. And very sorry past me, who in the next clip very optimistically thinks I found that italic adapter. Thanks, future me. That's it, nice and simple. I can stop complaining about it now probably. I'm going to try it for a few weeks first just to see how it goes and then do a proper review. Quick one month review time. I've been using this daily for the past few weeks and it is honestly amazing. I know it doesn't seem like much but just saving a few seconds from having to undo that thing and then putting it back on again it's always such a pain in the ass and I know this is a failing of me but there's some times where I just go oh, I can't be bothered to change to a fountain pen I won't do that plot I'll just do another gel pen plot or something like that and that's just me being lazy I get that I totally get that but having this here has just made me so happy that every single day I just loosen those red nodules tilt it fasten it back up again and I'm done saves me just seconds but it's so great so my review would be 10 out of 10 can highly recommend one of these things if you're completely lazy like me i ought to do one of those timey wimey things for every time i do that anyway let's go through the specs there's not really that much to say about this so here it is this is a quarter pen clip rotation stage for the axa draw and it costs around 65 dollars which is about 48 pounds I kind of wish that it came as default on the machine, but I can understand why it's not. What else is there to say? So when you mount it, you can mount it in two different ways. This way that allows you to turn from horizontal to vertical, or you can mount it this way that then allows you to sort of tilt 45 degrees back and forth. Another thing to mention is it's got all these measurements on here. So if you need to set different pens at different positions and you make a little note of those, you can always get it back to the right position again. I think it's a pretty good quality of life improvement. I wish I realised these existed a couple of years ago because it would have saved me a lot of frustrating moments when I have to... Anyway, that's just me. That's it. That's a quick overview of this. I hope you found it useful. If you're thinking about getting one, maybe this helps you decide that yes, it's the thing to go for. And if I've missed anything, then just let me know again in the comments. I might do another review of this in about six months or a year's time. So if I've missed anything, I'll be able to cover it in that video. And I think that's pretty much it. Let's get out of here. All right, then I will see you next time. Goodbye. Don't really know what I was doing there. That was a bit awkward. Bye.